With more than 100 members, the Congressional Progressive Caucus is one of the largest groups of lawmakers in the Democratic Party, and progressives racked up a string of victories in the midterms. But the caucus will face some new challenges once Republicans take control of the House. Joining me now, Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal, chair of the Congressional Progressive Caucus and member of the House Judiciary Emperor. Committee. Congresswoman Jayapal, thank you very much for coming back to the Sunday show. Apologies in advance for how short this conversation is going to be, given the, the breaking news. But I'm just wondering, how will the caucus maneuver now that Democrats are in the minority? Well, Jonathan, it's great to see you. Um, look, I think there are three things we're going to have to do. Number one, we're going to have to be a very strong opposition party. That is the entire Democratic Party, of course. But progressives often are the ones on the front lines of defending a lot of communities that get attacked, whether it's the LGBTQ community or folks of color, uh, young people across the country. Number two, we're going to have to work with the White House, and we've had an incredible relationship with the president and with the White House on executive actions not only holding the line, but making sure we continue to use whatever power we have and executive authority to move things that we will be able to take to people across the country. And number three, and maybe most importantly, we are going to have to keep the hope alive and show the pathway for people to turn out in 2024 so we can get the rest of the president's agenda done. Because we accomplished so much of that agenda, thanks to progressives in the last term, now we got to get the rest of it done and I feel very confident that if we can inspire people and give people hope across the country, that that will happen. Mm -hmm. Well, Congressman Hakeem Jeffries, the lead contender for House Minority Leader, is a, is a member of the Progressive Caucus. Do you expect him to carry your legislative agenda from that perch? Will he be able to well, keep I the hope alive? I've had a great relationship with uh, hopefully soon to be leader uh, Hakeem Jeffries. We serve on the Judiciary Committee together. He is a member of the Progressive Caucus. And um, I know that I'm going to sit down with him to talk to him about how we make sure this relationship with the Progressive Caucus, over 50 percent of the Democratic Caucus, will be progressives in this next term. And I want to make sure that we have a really strong relationship so that he understands progressives need to have a seat at the table and be consulted on things as we go forward. And also that we are pushing the Democratic agenda, pushing Democrats across the country who need to turn out in these critical mm -hmm. elections. And without whom, Jonathan, we would not have won in many of these districts across the country. Is there anything you think you could work on with the incoming Republican majority? Well, it really depends on which Republican majority we're talking about. I mean, if it's the Republican majority of Marjorie Taylor Greene, um, you know, it's going to be pretty t tough. But, um, you know, I think that if it's a, a Republican majority where Republicans are actually trying to work to get things done for working people, that's different. I just have um, my doubts, given the agenda that they put out there to cut Social Security, to cut Medicare, um, you know, to attack working people, to give more tax cuts to the wealthy. If that's the agenda, they're going to run with, then it's going to be difficult. I would say maybe antitrust reform is a place where we've had some bipartisan support. Maybe we can get some of those things across the finish line, some issues around privacy, some issues around war, perhaps. But again, it really depends on which Republican majority we're talking about.